Okay, sterile hormone synthesis, metaropone testing is to test uh, whether the uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal uh, feedback loop is functioning normally. Sterile hormone synthesis pathway requires very uh, th three, require three important uh, enzymes. First one is 17 alpha hydroxylase. Second one is 21 alpha hydroxylase. Third one is 11 beta hydroxylase. Uh, the sterile hormones is synthesized uh, synthesized in the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex is divided three, into three layers: the glomerulosa, fasciculata, and reticularis. And we can uh, memorize this by memorize the name G F R is in glomerular filtration rate. G is glomerulosa, fasciculata, and reticularis, and each one produces a particular sterile hormones. Um, sterile hormone synthesis starts out with uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol converted to pernanolones, pernanolones converted to uh, progesterone. Progesterone requires the 21 alpha hydroxylase. 21 alpha hydroxylase will convert uh, progesterones and uh, 17 hydroxyprogesterones into 11 deoxycorticosterones and 11 deoxycortisol. And the 11 beta hydroxylase converting both 11 deoxycorticosterones and 11 deoxycortisol into corticosterones and uh, in this case into cortisol. And uh, corticosterones is converted into aldosterone. Aldosterone's function is to reabsorb sodium, um, uh, sodium from from the uh, 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 the kidneys. And first one we can know. The first one is related to salt. Uh, second one is sugar. Third one is for the triticularis is. Uh, has to do with sex, or sex steroid hormones, testosterone productions, uh, cortisol, sugar. Uh, auto, um, the first one, glomerulosa, aldosterone is salt. So, metaropones, metaropones uh, testing is indi indicated when there is a suspicion of the interruptions in the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal feedback loop. Metaropones blocks cortisol synthesis by inhibiting 11 beta hydroxylase which is responsible for serum cortisol levels levels because it converts uh, it converts 11 deoxycortisol into cortisol thus metaropol administrations with uh, the metabolic administration serum cortisol level will be reduced because we because here we inhibit the cortisol productions um, that would uh, feedback to the uh, pituitary to increase ACTH ACTH there when there is an increase in ACTH ACTH will increase which leads to an increase in productions of 11 uh, of 11 deoxycortisol but however because metaropones inhibits the 11 beta hydroxylase therefore uh, we see therefore we see uh, there's an increase there is an increase in uh, 11 deoxycortisol but cortisol level does not increase because we have blocked the 11 beta hydroxylase by metaropones. And the 11 uh, increase in 11 deoxycortisol will lead to the increase in its metabolites, which is 11 uh, 17 hydroxy uh, corticosteroids in the urine. So if there is an increase, after the administration of metaropone testing, metaropone into our system, if we see that there is an increase in 11 uh, deoxycortisol and there's an increase in 17 hydroxy cor uh, steroids in the urine, we know that the um, uh, hy hy hypothalamic pituitary uh, feedback, adrenal feedback loop is functioning normally. 
if uh, you don't see there's an increase in 17 hydroxy